X-Men The Dark Phoenix, or as they called it, The Dark Phoenix, because they didn't even want to put the X-Men title in this because, I don't know, they don't want to sell tickets or something. <laughs> like, what, what the, kind of movie? What the <laughs> fuck? Like, it's like hey. calling Sp the Spider-Man 2 just 2. Yeah. The fuck? Just put the fucking Spider-Man oh, part in here. Or a Homecoming. Yeah, Homecoming what? Oh, it's a Spider-Man movie. Okay, well, why the fuck wouldn't you put that in the fucking poster I and thought shit? it was like kids at a dance. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You guys, I mean, you guys fucked it up already at, at the beginning. I don't get that. But, you know, um, The Dark Phoenix is the finale of these oh. the Fox Universe movies of x-men films have you all seen it have you all seen it we're gonna talk about it yeah we're gonna talk about it right now uh, we will try not to do spoilers uh, i will try the dark phoenix is the story that they've already told uh, 10 years ago or whatever they just trying to i'm like Really, <coughs> many, many, There's, many, when, many times. When did the first X Men come out? When the first comic? Oh my out? God! It was like in uh, the it was comic, not the movie. Oh, the yeah, comic. The first X Men. Nineteen sixty eight. So from sixty eight to sixty eight, seven, eight, 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 nine, eight, 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 eight. Uh, So that's like fifty something years. Don't look at me. I'm terrible at math. And they you know this. And in the last ten, they've reused the same story. Like, you got, you got all these years. Yeah. You had all these villains. You had 50, all these years. 50 years of material, and <clears throat> you've already reused one story. I just don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I it, it it's all about Jean Grey. Uh, the the X Men go to a space mission. Jean Grey gets infected space. with some with some uh, space dust uh, cloud S stuff. Space cloud that makes her the super powerful, uh, uncontrollable mutant freak. And everyone is trying to make sure she doesn't flip out, and <laughs> vaporize everyone. And all all the while, there's also like a fucking alien race that's trying to. Uh, it, uh, whatever. They're t that that part's fucking stupid. Oh god, that part is so fucking stupid. There's like an alien race that you find out is chasing a cloud. That's uh -huh. a super powered cloud. That's now inside Gene. Nice. But nice. but you you say the part that you mentioned earlier about the whole Phoenix and the apocalypse movie. We well, talked okay, about that. Well, yeah, well, then we'll get to that. I'm just, we well, talked about it. It'll come up eventually. Ugh. Okay, but I will say this just right off the bat: it's gonna be a a, a a negative, or it's gonna be an opposite of what some people may think. But I don't think this movie was that bad. Mm. I didn't hate it as much as I thought I was gonna hate it, which is surprising to me. I went into this with basically negative hopes. I had like. I already have this like a negative five in my book going into it. I was not looking forward to this at all because X-Men Apocalypse was such dog shit. Ugh. I fucking hated fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah, I hate dog shit. I fucking <laughs> hate Apocalypse. Who loves dog shit? I got to ask you that. Is somebody like following? Dogs love dog shit. They eat it all the time. No. Dogs yeah. eat dog shit? Yeah. Man, you're dumb. This is why I don't have a dog. <laughs> but X-Men Apocalypse was just, uh, it was just the fucking, it was the worst. So going into this, I you're thought drinking? this was going to be absolute garbage. But I, w I think it was just, it was just like, okay, eh, it's a movie. Okay. I thought I, the best part of this entire movie was the music. I thought Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer did the the soundtrack, the score to this. I thought that part was just the music was fucking awesome. It got it, that may have been what brought me into the movie a little bit because his music was so fucking good during some of these action scenes. It was like getting me into it, even Pumped though up. some stupid shit was happening. I'm like, I like what I like the song to this, so I'll let this slide a little bit. But <clears throat> some of this is fucking stupid. <laughs> some of it. <laughs> Just just some of it. Uh, she Diva, I wanted to answer you. We're drinking tequila and whiskey 
and uh, whatever random shit we got sitting around. Yeah, um, I'm just I'm trying to slowly kill our livers. Yeah, exactly. Go. We like to get what they call drunk. Because oh. <laughs> as I said before, we like to party. We like <laughs> we like to party. <laughs> Um, I gotta say, the, the thing that I liked about this movie the most, and I really did not care for this movie, very, very much so, was the, um, the characters using their powers, I thought was done insanely well. They have some pretty cool moments of the X-Men yes. actually being a team. Right. Of everyone using their powers exactly. together to, to defeat things and yeah that was fucking it's cool. It's like you go here because I know you can do this and then you yeah. go over here because I know you can do this and yeah. then um, there was a lot of really crazy good scenes with Nightcrawler Yeah, because he's like teleporting around and shit. Yeah. Um, and you know also also too <laughs> Good job. Um, the there there's a quick scene with Quicksilver, quick yeah. scene with Quicksilver that was also done really well and very very cool. But then there's so many parts where the whole movie just falls like fucking flat on well, their face. Just, it's weird because uh, fucking the movie is somehow very rushed. Because they're trying to get through so much shit, but it's also real slow. Yeah, which doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't understand how they how they pull that off. It's like they're shoving so much shit in here at once, but also there's a lot of downtime when just like not a lot's happening. Gene right. Gray's like just like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like okay, well. You know, figure it out, Gene. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're fucking <laughs> possessed by a cloud. I mean, <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta do something. I, I read, I read some interviews with some actors, and they said that they are rewriting this movie every single day. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I absolutely believe it. Sophie I... Turner, who played, who <clears throat> plays Jean Grey, she said she had a meeting with the with the director every day for two hours, where they rewrote everything. Oh. Every morning they rewrite the script. I'm sure that's easy for an actor or actress, <laughs> right? Just yeah. being like, okay, so today we're going in a completely opposite direction than what we were yesterday. You know where we were going yesterday? We're not doing that anymore. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, am I still Gene? I probably... <laughs> <laughs> am I still... Wait a second. Is it, You got a different Scott Summers now? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I mean, there's so many scenes where I feel like an actor or actress is written off because she's like... He or she is like, you know what, guys? I got a bigger deal coming up, and I'm going to need well, to go. Some of these people did not give a fuck. Let's go. About <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fucking, uh, uh, what's her face from Hunger Games? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence did not give a fuck about this <laughs> no, movie. No, not could at tell all. In her face, she could not give less of a fuck about being in this movie. <laughs> At all. She was so fucking checked Sad, out. Sad but true. It's literally every single line was like, are you serious, Charles? Charles, how could you do this to us? We're the X-Men. You have to protect us. Y'all have the turkey, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I just think that we need to work together to get past this. Like, yep. No tomatoes, please. And also, <laughs> we need to right. be able to fight off this thing together. I'll just take it to my trailer right now. Thanks. She, I mean, it was so fucking painful. Oh, yeah. The only moments where people are really acting well is James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender. Yes, but even I felt that Michael Fassbender was like, dude, I know this movie is going to suck. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to give it just minimal amount. Like, I don't feel like Michael mm. Fassbender really brought it. No. But then again, his character... I mean, it's like almost like they gave him nothing in this movie to do. You know, it's like they wanted him to flip flop in all kinds of things, uh, you know, like his mentality and the way he was thinking and all this other kinds of stuff. I think that is my number one biggest negative about this movie because I feel like we're definitely already talking about negatives here. And my, my biggest negatives about this whole movie is none of the characters seem like the characters. 
I mean, I grew yeah. up on these comic books. I love these comic books. I treasure these characters. And the whole time I'm sitting there watching this movie, I'm like, did anybody read a fucking comic book? Anybody at all? Yeah, the way that they fucking portrayed <sighs> Professor X was kind of upsetting. A dick move. They made him into a kind of an asshole for this whole movie. It was a real dick move. And I've never fucking understood why they have to do Beast as like the Hulk now, where he, he can like transform back and forth between being a oh, you beast and know a why? human. You want to know why? Because they It's fucking it's cheap. Cheaper. Yes, yeah, and, yeah. that's why. But it's like it's so random how he'll be the human beast walking around the fucking the school, and then the second they're like, okay, we gotta fly this plane. Like, okay, let me turn into this big, giant, fucking blue monster to sit in a plane chair. Like, that's a one time you shouldn't want to <laughs> fucking beast out into this big fucking hulking monster because you have to fit in this fucking pilot thing and control a goddamn spaceship. Maybe be the skinny uh, little nerd. Be then you can just maneuver around. Yeah, instead, exactly. like, it's like a video ah, game. Fuck. <laughs> I can control this fucking thing. I hope people <laughs> meme, the, meme the fuck out of you right yeah. now. It's just like, oh. Yeah, I'm oh, sure oh. Uh, the 11 people here join this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got 11 people? That's sweet. Thanks, guys. Uh, um, yeah. Also, I mean, don't forget about Dreadlock guy. He oh, God, probably Dreadlock Probably the highlight guy. of the movie for me was one of Magneto's henchmen whose mutant power was to whip his dreadlocks like a whip. <laughs> like a whip. Like a whip. <laughs> like a, Just like a whip. He's like, what's her face from fucking Inhumans? <laughs> the fuck was her name? Medusa. Oh, fuck that bitch. <laughs> you a, know she's the queen? Like, huh? that's the queen of the Inhumans. Of what? Medusa. She's a major character. She's huge. She's like a big yeah. freaking deal. She's yes. queen of all the Inhumans. She's that Medusa. Sucks. Sucks that she sucks so much. <laughs> oh man! Sucks that, that show was fucking and to have a bullshit. debut on fan in Fantastic Four and like that comic book is like yeah. Well, what's this? I don't think this guy's the queen. <laughs> this guy's he, this guy'd be lucky to be the fucking court jester. This guy fucking oh, sucks. Oh man! Out of all the fucking mutants that are in the fifty year history of X Men, you picked fucking dreadlock whipping guy. Dreadlock to whipping be guy. Yeah, Magneto's exactly. Bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There were so many there's the um what is it it was called the uh acolytes right was when Dude, i don't know <laughs> i'm looking at you but you're like ah, Dude, i don't, I don't know. know well nerd. first of all you're the Quick... one wearing the nerd shirt you i fucking mean nerd. quicksilver is supposed to be evil mm. yeah Boy. Quicksilver is supposed to be evil and it's supposed to be his son but they don't address any of that they kind of touch on it but it's not enough and I want to go back to the fucking beast shit that we were talking about. Remember in the other movie, he had he had to take um, yeah, like, like injections a, yeah. to stay beast, and Charles Xavier had to take injections to walk yeah. again, but it would suppress his mutant power. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That, well, I mean, the and then the whole collars thing. Yeah. Ugh. The X-Men movies have never as much of a fuck that Jennifer Lawrence gave. For her effort, the writers have that little amount of fuck to give for the continuity between any of these movies. They just every movie's like, all right, making a new X Men movie. Like, what happened last one? Who fucking cares? <laughs> exactly. Let's start over. I we're just fuck. we're going from where we left off. No one cares. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares. This one, we're not calling it X Men. We're calling it Dark Phoenix. Yeah, and Mystique being Mystique starts this movie off like being the fucking leader of the X-Men. She, <sighs> like, it's not even hidden. She is the leader of the X-Men. Everyone yeah. goes to her. Her and She Beast. leads the fucking team. She gives everyone their missions. She right. fucking does everything. You're like, what the fuck is going on here? Ugh, it just makes no sense whatsoever. And the thing was, is like, they screwed the pooch way back when. So they were like, well, we got to ride this out. Jennifer Lawrence. Like, oh, she's the draw. She's then, the draw. We need to make her a main character. Like, okay, but she's not that interesting of a character. Right. And then you want to make her, like, fucking all... She started out as, like, semi-evil, and now she's full-on Captain America of the X-Men. She's giving... She's, like, at the end of the first Avengers, where Captain America's giving everyone their fucking orders, she does that. Like, what the... F okay. 
See, it's like that kind of shit b bugged me, but at the same time, some of the other stuff I found it enjoyable with like the different factions of people breaking off that were like trying to deal with Gene and as much as Charles was portrayed as a dick, you know, he's still trying to help her and like everyone's trying to help her in different ways. Some people hate her. Some people want to help her. The government is kind of like they do some interesting stuff. But it just like to have this be the finale movie yeah. of the f entire saga, to have this be the ending of it, it's like it's not big enough. Well, that's the thing is like <clears throat> there's no real, it doesn't <clears throat> ever feel like there's a real villain of the movie. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you're watching the whole movie and that's you're like, true. okay, is, is Dark Phoenix or Gene the villain? Yeah, or is, is it these is fucking some, alien is it, assholes? Is it the aliens that are the villain of the movie? And then everybody else, too, at the same time, is flip-flopping back and forth. Yeah. Like, uh, what do we do? Is she yeah. bad? Is she good? Like, all that kind of shit. Whereas you as the audience and the actual viewer of the movie is just like, I don't fucking know either. Yeah, like, not, don't look at us. There's not, like, a, a clear uh, mission or a clear goal that they're working towards it's just like jeans thing. freaking like out everything. you have hey, good we gotta... guys and you have bad guys yeah. and you got superheroes and you got mm -hmm. evil villains yeah you i mean you could figure out a way everyone's just gene is just running away because she can't control her powers and everyone else is just trying like hey calm down okay and that's the, that's the whole movie <laughs> everything like, gene calm down <laughs> Come on, hey, Gene, calm down. And then other people are like, hey, calm down. And then the <laughs> aliens are like, don't calm down. You should be bad. And then then that's the then that's the movie. So you know the funniest part? I, I was watching, I'm a big fan of this guy, Chris, from We Love Comics, and I watch him regularly on YouTube. And people started to announce that Dazzler a famous mutant is making her appearance in this movie. And I watched his video and he was like, guys, please do us a favor. Don't run out and spend a ridiculous amount of money on her first appearance because we have no idea like how much she's actually in the movie. <clears throat> and guess what? She's in the movie like what? Maybe 30 seconds or something? That's even being generous. <laughs> <laughs> Blew me away. <laughs> what the fuck are her powers anyways? She makes a light show? It's it's a lot like Jubilee. It's That's like the like fireworks. What else, it's a, I mean, it's what a else? light show. Yeah, she's the worst. But then again, you can't have like the coolest powers all the time. I mean, if you... Okay, but how was she ever even on the X-Men? Were they like, all right, we got to fight Omega Red. Cyclops, you hit him with the optic blast. Wolverine, you go from back. Dazzler, if you could play Lady Gaga <laughs> exactly. at, the, at the Oracle exactly. Arena. Like, super loud. And then... Dazzle, like, you got to put on a, just a dazzle, concert at the Oracle just Arena. Just dazzle people. Right. We need to make money because we don't have enough money to fuel the X jet. So if you go put on a concert as we do all the battling, exactly. that'd be Wait. pretty cool. Thing. It would be great. Sell T-shirts too. <laughs> if you rode in on like rollerblades, <laughs> she's the fucking worst. I don't understand what she's a, on her first appearance comic. She's actually like coming in on roller skates <laughs> just because like I I don't know. She's the dumbest. It was the 70s was or like, 80s, like, I don't she's know. She's like Gem in the Holograms, yes. but an X-Men somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, buy her first appearance. I dare you. I'll she, fucking throw that thing she, away myself. She was like, she was like Ella, Heather Graham in uh, Boogie Nights. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just wearing a onesie and on rollerblades. But she never got naked in this movie. So. Yeah. Zero cares on my side. Exactly. <laughs> Zero stars over here. Uh, 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 Jubilee. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Her power. I don't. She could like shoot like firecrackers in people's eyes or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't understand how her firework exactly. power ever like Here's came into usefulness. Yeah. I mean, they hinted to her only a couple of times in X Men movies, but then they felt like, well, she was in she's not cool. Or, she's in Apocalypse, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, but what did what did she do? Uh, what she always does. <laughs> Nothing. She's, she's the worst. She's uh, like, I'll send firecrackers <laughs> in his eyes. That will get him. Uh, yeah, I think I've said enough about this. You know. Well, what would you what would you rate it on a on a drunk rating scale? I've had to think about this a lot because I was yeah. very upset at this movie. I mean, like I said, I did not hate this as much as I thought so, as much as I thought it would, and I didn't hate it as much as what I'm reading online that everyone fucking hates it with like a fucking vengeance. I don't Me? think it's. I personally didn't think, didn't think it was that bad. Maybe part of that is because of Hans Zimmer's score really fucking drew me in. I Honestly, that could be it. I'm trying to think. Just talking about it right now makes me think, like, maybe that's what was it for me. Because I, I downloaded the soundtrack after, and I thought I, it's fucking awesome. And maybe that just hypnotized me to, to like it a little bit more. Were you dazzled? I was dazzled by his, by his uh, fucking abilities. But, I mean, I would give... Honestly, I mean, I'm being serious. Honestly, I, I don't. I didn't hate it as much. I will give it a buzzed. I don't think. It, Whoa. Honestly, I don't. I mean, maybe if I watch it again, I'd fucking hate it. But <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed enough of it that uh, I didn't leave. I didn't walk out angry. Grevelin said drunk. Yeah, I mean, I he would said be, he would give it a drunk. I would be. You know, between buzzed and drunk. Yeah. I thought some of the stuff that Jean was doing, her powers look cool. I, I like the kid that plays Cyclops. I thought he did a good job when, when he was given anything to do. Watching their powers being used was cool. I mean, I love the, the kid that played Cyclops. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his. I mean, I absolutely loved Ready Ready Player One. Yeah. I mean, dude. I mean, maybe if I, if I watch this again, maybe I'll fucking hate it again. But I, I specifically remember watching fucking apocalypse with my head in my hands i was so fucking angry i hated every second of that movie and this one is like meh whatever i i mean i'm no and no rush to see it again but i i it's like whatever i don't give a shit uh, at least now it's over and we can fucking move <laughs> on i mean for me i would have to give it it's kind of a mixture though so for me, I would probably give it a uh, shit-faced as a moviegoer. As a comic book fan, it would definitely be <clears throat> blacked out. Blacked out as a comic book fan. You, but none of these X-Men movies have ever followed a comic. They've no. all been so off. Right, but they've never, like, wish-washed. Wish-washed? I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Uh, they've never, they've never, like, destroyed characters, in my opinion. Except for Olivia Munn as Psylocke, okay? They destroyed everyone in Apocalypse. And Apocalypse sucked. Don't, know. don't get me wrong. But I mean, like, this movie, I hate it. There's so many people that just went back and forth, back and forth on their opinions. I, I, I couldn't stand the way Beast could just change himself anytime he wanted. That's what makes Beast actually like great as a character himself because he can't change back and he can't yeah. deal with himself and he's like the thing. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. There's for again, once again, no gambit in the movie. No gambit period. Um they never showed, they never even tried to attempt like an actual good love interest between Cyclops and Jean Grey. Yeah, that's which, kind of rushed. Which was ridiculous. Wolverine, of course, isn't in the movie, <laughs> but when Dark Phoenix is happening, like he's a definitely another main character in the Dark Phoenix saga. I could just go on and on and on. Magneto. Magneto is like the best villain in the the face of the earth and they go back and forth on how good magneto is or 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 what his what he's <clears> actually <throat> going to add to the story they don't even know they don't even know and then the villain of the movie is just like fucking anybody she sucks guess she it sucks dick she's the yeah, it's she <laughs> doesn't make any sense it's it's one person that like takes a body of another any, and any just, villain where it's 
uh, the, <sighs> their acting is just being completely lifeless and monotone and not showing an emotion for for injury. It's so fucking played out and boring by now. It's like, think of something different. Because seeing like someone get thrown to a wall and like just stand up and walk away, it's not yeah. scary. It's, it's like Terminator like, has done like, it yeah, so fucking, many yeah, times already. It and it's it it's done. It's over with. So like I said, as a movie goer, I would probably give this movie like a shit faced. And it's yeah. like, it was, it was still like the action scenes... And when I say shit face, it means the action scenes are decently entertaining yeah. enough to like just wake up shit faced while you're watching the movie and going like, oh, that's a cool action scene. I like <laughs> that. But as a comic book fan, it's completely blacked out because with everything from like Gene to Mystique to Cyclops to Magneto to yeah. Beast to Nightcrawler. To fucking Quicksilver. I mean, God, you could have used Quicksilver in so many other ways. Yeah. Than what they did. Yeah, oh. I mean, I, I get it. It's it's not. I mean, I don't. It it's hurt. definitely not. It in, just just made me so mad. It's definitely in the bottom of the X Men movies for sure. Yeah. I still think X Two is the best one, and I like First Class. Second best. I thought first class. First was class was awesome. good. I thought they did. I thought they did as best they could with Days of the Future Past. Yeah. You okay. know, with utilizing yeah. Hugh Jackman <clears throat> and yeah. Halle Berry yeah. and um, Patrick Stewart. So that was really like a struggle, and they pulled it off as almost as best they could, but it wasn't like great. Yeah. The thing is. Is that we were we were hoping for Sentinels to be like the '90s cartoon yeah. for Sentinels? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just thirty stories tall, fucking huge. And instead, the Sentinels when they rolled them out with Trask and stuff, it just wasn't yeah. wasn't even wasn't even close. wasn't even there. Yeah, there's skinny little hugger bitches. <laughs> 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 I think that's what they were called. Skinny, <laughs> skinny, skinny little hover bitches. Say, Here we go. go my know. skinny little hover bitches. Go. Go. You're like the monkeys from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got wings and shit. Yeah, that was fucking... Because they, they've been teasing the Sentinels for like... Fuck, uh-oh. Oh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's finished <laughs> off the Oban. Thanks for watching. If you liked that clip, make sure to subscribe and keep up to date with our weekly recap video where we discuss everything between movies, video games, comics, and drinking. Of course. Drinking. That's the most important yes. part. Yes. Oh, God. Mmm. 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 Good night, sweet prince.